Mod here with another edition of Split Designs by STFA. Um, Mom has outdone herself with this fabulously stitched out design of the Anti-Demon from Supernatural. And I wanted to take a moment to explain a little bit about this particular design. Um, it's slightly different. You have to do it a little bit differently than uh, you do the other split designs. If you've watched my other video and um, read the instructions for doing these split designs, um, you'll notice that we tell you to make sure when you're lining them up on your zipper to line the uh, cent use the center lines on your cutouts to uh, make sure that they're even. But on this particular design, because the right side is bigger than the left side, if you center them on that line, you're going to be off on the top and the bottom for your circle. And the flames are not going to turn out uh, the way that they should. So when you finish stitching your, your right side, you'll need to make adjustments using your pattern piece um, when you do the left side. It's not really that difficult. You just uh, need to make sure that you do print out your, your pattern pieces. So when you are lining it up with the previously stitched design, make sure that the tops of your circle and the bottoms of your, of your circle match. And that will also make sure that all of the things inside it match as well. So I'm going to show you what I mean. I stitched half of uh, the design already and when I give instruction when I gave the instruction for um, you know putting your chalk line on there I said you know take your take your pieces make sure they line up do your vertical on your zipper so that you know it's it's uh, perpendicular and then draw your line all the way across. Well, if you notice that this is the line that I drew all the way across, which matches the center of that line. If I were to line my left side up with that particular line, you'll notice that my circle will be off. So we're gonna redo this and we are going to actually shift this down. I guess it's a, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. And we're going to get rid of that line, get rid of that line all the way. Uh, lay down our pattern piece, matching the tops and the bottoms. And then grab my handy dandy ruler. And I am going to redraw the line. So I'm making sure vertically I am, I am sticking with the zipper so that it's perpendicular and goes straight across. And I need to bring this down a tad or bring that up a little bit. So, okay, so I've now adjusted my uh, pattern piece and I've made sure that my uh, ruler, my lines re is perpendicular to the zipper. I'm sorry, is uh, parallel to the zipper. I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna redraw my chalk line so that when I line it up in the hoop, I'm using this new line instead of the old line because the old line's now gone if i were to use that it would be cattywampus and we don't want cattywampus so here is my hoop and i apologize that it's not super duper clean um ray don't watch this um i'm gonna pull this up hopefully i won't make you too dizzy all right on this hoop You'll see that it's got the, the centering line right there, kind of matches up with that little arrow down there. And this is where I'm going to line my new chalk line, like you would in, in um, the other videos. So, oops, apologize, I keep bumping my, my camera stand here. All right, so now I am going to make sure that my new line is lined up here and then I will go through and um, you know do a little bit of spray spray adhesive and uh, pin it down and when I come out of this design after stitching it it should match side to side uh, like it's intended so that it would be like that okay 
Um, hopefully you find this helpful. It's just one of those little tips and tricks that I've learned as I was going through and doing all of these. Um, but if you do have any questions, just hit me up in the, in the group and I'd be happy to help answer them. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot for watching.